<laughs> Sarah. Good morning. Welcome. Now, we don't have any uh, Part A's today um, in either of the three, but I've got a couple of comments on a, on a couple okay. of items. Any on the first one? Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, the um, Wallston Post Shop and Kiwi Bank closure. Um, we have re received replies. I'm not sure I know that Council wrote both to... Um, uh, Post being uh, Kiwi Bank and ANZ. I don't know if you've had replies or not, though we'd quite like to see those if you have. Um, but we have had replies, and the board at our last yeah. meeting decided that they weren't particularly satisfactory, so we are writing back. You, um, oh, you've had a reply? We've had a reply, and we're writing back to that reply. What did um, it say? Uh, basically that they're still going ahead and that they there are other branches and they're, they're going where their customers are, but we don't believe that they are following their code of um, social responsibility, so we're going to ask them about that. Okay, thank you. Anything else in Part B? Uh, not from that agenda. Okay, thanks. Moved, Yanni. Seconded, Paul. Put that. Those in favour, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, <laughs> carried. And the next one on page 129. No, nothing from that one. Okay, moved, Paul. Seconded, Yanni. Oh, actually, at this point, I'd quite like to echo the, um, the, the comments from um, Andrew from Burwood Pegasus earlier as well about the red zone. Uh, there's issues that have come up with our board as well over the infrastructure and the trees and those kind of things that our board's discussed as well. Yeah, well, exactly. it's red, yeah. red zone too. Uh, <laughs> it's often okay. forgotten. But <laughs> um, on this, this third one um, from the 16th. Sorry, 17, I'll just put, I'll oh, put a bit of pass it. Yeah, I'll put it. Th move. Yeah. Yep. One two nine. Yeah. I just wanted to bring to council's attention the, the dictation two point one, um, and I know one of our, our levels of service that we're not meeting is around communities uh, participating, volunteering. I think there's, there's some words in there around numbers, but actually, um, if you look at these projects, the Charlesworth Wetland Wildlife Reserve and McCormick's Bay, mm. in particular, it's extraordinary work that a small group of people are doing on a very regular basis. So although you might not have the thousands of people, you actually have thousands of hours going into enhancing these communities. And often we, we, we discuss doing things in a different way. Actually, I just want to draw your attention to something that doesn't need to be done a different way. It's actually working really well. And we should actually congratulate and commend our, our council staff who work with these groups for the huge success that they're having and making a difference. And uh, if you saw the presentation, Mm. pictures of Charlesworth Reserve before this group started there mm. and after and then planting the 100,000th tree mm. uh, it's mm. pretty extraordinary so it I don't is. know whether Sarah wishes to add any more to that yeah. It's um, similar to the next point they have um, done an amazing work they've now moved on from um, the Charlesworth area to McCormick's Bay and, um, but it is, it's, a, it's a really good model of what is already happening and what can be rolled out into other areas as well and just on a, not that subject but the related one, um, the Infrastructure Committee is going to have a separate report each month on the Heathcote, so um, making sure that the whole project, which has actually got some budget, to clean up the Heathcote yeah. is coordinated and made visible so that people are aware that would be of what's going yeah. on. Um, there are some real concerns about the river. <laughs> <laughs> there should be some real con concerns yeah. about the river, and, and we, we have made some... Um, actual budgetary allocation to do something about the river as well. Um, so in order to pull it all together, because it's it goes to the zone committee, it goes to the uh, whole raft of yep. groups, it's going to come each month to Phil's committee. That's great. Okay. The report as a whole, have we got a mover and second it? Yes. Second it? Yep. Okay, I'll put that. Those in favour, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, carried. Um, and okay, was that the? And just on this last one, and yep. it was another group who have been doing amazing work um, already, and it's the the Friends of Emmons Factory Gardens. It's mentioned in the um, elected members um, the, after a an alcohol ban for the area. But in fact, we had a deputation from them just last meeting. But they've um, in just a few days' time, they will have their 25th um, anniversary of, of starting up as Edmonds Factory Gardens. Yeah. Um, and friends of, and uh, John Hoskins has been chair for the entire time. Yes. And um, that group go along every weekend and are doing weeding and maintenance in those gardens, um, which is work now the council don't have to do. And yep. uh, it's an, an excellent model of what the community can do. And uh, it would be great to see that model um, rolled out in other areas. I know that there's um, some talk now of doing something similar for Victoria Square, maybe having friends of Victoria Square. 
um, so that they have a, a really uh, key stakeholder group in, in starting that way. Um, also happening in other wards, um, for example, there's a group in Burwood Pegasus Ward who have basically adopted Rafferty Domain yep. um, and are doing a massive butterfly planting, well, not planting butterflies, but planting trees, uh, planting plants that yeah. attract butterflies. Um, uh, it's uh, just a group of residents, actually, who, who yeah. are alongside. Um, and if any group, there's also some in the central city, if any group want to basically adopt a park, yeah. we are very, very open to that. Yeah. Is there a formal concept. structure set up for that yet? Yeah. Um, there's not a formal structure. Yeah. It's happening anyway. Oh, that's <laughs> it. I'm just wondering if there's, you know, there's a structure that currently friends use with the Friends of Edmonds Factory Garden use. Well, or just to contact the green spaces. And, yeah, it's, well, it's actually, no, a formal sense. structure no. might be co yeah, a sort of who do you contact type. A, a, a proper, like, yeah. this is how you go through okay. the process. Some sort yeah. of process that the groups can go through to, to be able to work in with council staff on that. Who do you contact to adopt a park or even foster one? Yeah. yeah. That's what we asked through the LTP, which staff are that's right. And so yeah. that works underway. Yeah. That's right. right. Cool. Thank you. Anything else? No, that's if not. Right. Uh, your report is moved by Paul, seconded by Yanni. And I'll put that. Those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Thanks very much indeed. Thank sir. you very much. Mike.